So let's say you're ready to personalize within 2D Snap Motor Plan, and that just means that you're going to make um, certain buttons um, more personal for the student, maybe within food and drink, um, places. When you go to more things, you'll see um, toys uh, and games might be too general, um, and you want to add certain specific toys or things that they like to play with. You really want to go in here and make sure to, these are line drawings um, using Full Board Maker. And so you don't want to use too many real pictures. Kids will learn line drawings over time um, within the context of just learning. So if you, you know, say go and you're doing something super fun and you're going outside and you press go, go. they're going to learn that association between that line drawing with the word. It's just like letters. They learn it over time. It doesn't have meaning until we give it meaning. Um, outside of those line drawings, the only times I would use real pictures is for real people or very personal friends. For example, a teddy bear, um, their special teddy bear named George or something like that. I would take a picture of or if there's a very specific food item that is not in the system and you need to go online to find that picture. Um, you can totally leave the app, go to Safari, and search that up and just save the picture into your photos. So let's say you want to go into more things and you want to add certain toys. This is very limited in the number of toys, so this is one of the main things that I would start with. Um, possibly is food as well, but there's more food options just naturally available in the system. So you're going to want to go to the little pencil with the gear behind it and you'll see that there was a couple things I had hidden it's always in, in edit mode going to show you everything available and you're going to want to go um, to either um, you don't want to hide too many things or go over too many things that they might use in the future. Um, for example, they might play with dice in the future or something like that unless you really don't think that it's going to something that's important and you're going to want to leave it. You see all these blank buttons. These are buttons that you can add completely new things to. Um, and so that's what I would suggest to do. So let's say you want to add something here. When you press on the button, um, this little box pops up and you get to, to label it. So let's say I'm going to just label just a general toy, um, a shape sorter. And you see it gives you um, a possible picture. If you don't like that one under the picture, there's a little magnifying glass. You can go in and search other options that they have. I really like this one, so I'm going to just click done. And I'm going to um, click done at the top. And then you'll see that it's still missing. And you're wondering, why is it missing? Well, if you're in the vocabulary builder and you haven't um, added this to the ones that are not grayed out, it's going to be hidden. Here in the general version that will show up. So if you go up to the right hand corner um, right next to the light bulb is that little filter. You want to click on that and you want to click on the shape sorter. Once you do that, shape sorter, it will um, state the word and it will be available for the student to use. And so you can continue doing that with um, the line drawings that are available. Um, the other example that I gave is a very specific um, item that is really personal to them. So for example, these are going to be people um, and so and toys that are specific. But if you go to people, you'll see mom and dad are already in here. But let's say you want to add very specific pictures of people. Um, my opinion is always to leave the general pictures um, just in case in the future they ever are talking to another child about their mom and dad. Um, but you can also just um, put your pictures over mom and dad just in, in general as well. It really depends on what you, what you think because you really don't want to have a word um, in the system um, more than white once. But let's say you call um, your actual mom mama. Maybe you have it um, with a picture of your mama in the system that way and then a general mom or mother is in the system for them to talk about in the future and you can always hide it at first. So for this example, if you want to add a real person, go to the top right hand corner again to the gear with the pencil. You see these are all the options that are available. Um, in this case, if you want to add it, the mom button, you can just press on that. And um, right under the picture, there's a little picture or a little camera where you can put um, where you can take a picture from camera or go to a photo library if you have a picture from the past. Um, if you want to make a new button, you can press 
the little plus button on any of the blank spots and you can put the label as whatever um, you choose like your student says for mom so maybe it's mama and you can go again it's going to give you an option if that's not the one you want you go to the little camera I'm going to go from photo library and I don't have any pictures of people oh, right now it's frozen so I'm going to cancel and I'm going to go back to the photo library so now I can go and let's pretend I have a picture of somebody in here this is a picture I took a while back. It's just a, a picture of some coffee. Um, pretend that's just a picture of um, the mom. Um, in this case, you would be done. You click done, and because you're in the vocabulary filter mode, you have to go to that filter, and you have to unhide the one you want. And then Mama. Mama, which is a really easy way to add real people. You can also do this with toys. Um, if there's a specific bear, that is really important to have a very real picture. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't do too many real pictures in there. Um, but I would go through here and personalize over time. You don't have to do everything at once. The places that I usually start are people. I also go to food and drink and personalize. Um, and more things, I would go to toys and games. Under more things, you can also go... Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, t TV movies and music are really good ones so right now it just says tv movie and youtube but you can go in here and add favorite tv shows favorite movies that they can request so that can be really important other than that feel free to do this over time and slowly and ask any questions if they come up but personalizing personalizing is really important um in in getting the child interested since it's going to be more personal to them and it'll make them the family feel like it really is the child's voice.